Do you ever want to have an overlay of the frames per second you were getting in your OpenGL game? Well, now you can. What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu, the tech guru, coming straight at you. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic, and today I'm bringing you an episode. I wanted to do on Tuesday for Tech Tuesdays with Ubu, but I just, uh, <laughs> my recording software just wasn't working right. I ended up doing the whole commentary and found out that there was no audio in it, and I just had a bunch of technical difficulties, and I didn't get it done yesterday. So I, you know, so I want to get it done, you know, now for you guys. I don't really know if I should call it a Tech Tuesdays because it's now you know Thursday probably when you're watching this so it is what it is but today's video is going to be looking at VOGL perf and what VOGL perf is it's a benchmarking tool for Linux OpenGL games it spews frame information and it can log your frame times as well uh, so this is a great tool for you know people wondering the frames per second they're getting for example in The Witcher 2 which recently came out and, avail and is available in Linux. It runs inside of a wrapper that's similar to Wine. It's called the Eon wrapper and um, you know so it allows for a nice little overlay over your game to show you the frames per second that you're getting. So the base operating system we're starting with is I'm doing this in a VM so that at because I already have VOGL perf installed on my regular machine so hopefully we can get through this tutorial this will be the first time I'm doing it in a VM hopefully it works uh, and there's hopefully no uh, you know little uh, mishaps along the way um, but you know so it's 64-bit operating system in Ubuntu and uh, you know that's where we're that's where we're starting so if I bring up a terminal and I'm not used to using uh, straight Ubuntu I'm used to using X Ubuntu so this is kinda new to me uh, you know the whole unity thing and everything so I'm on let's see I'm on kernel 3.13.0-424 um, LS B release dash H or dash all running yep 1404 uh, cat proc CPU let's see if it I'm running a 64 bit yes I believe I am uh, oh wait you name dash R I think shows me the you name dash a yeah right there so this is 64-bit Ubuntu um, so the first thing that we need to do in order to install see uh, VOGL perf the source files were uh, recently released by valve this is a tool that was released by valve and um, it was released you know the code has been out here on git for a while but it, it recently, you know, was brought into light in early April, you know, and available to use. So um, what we're going to use, we'll use GitHub to to download the source and compile it and get it installed on your machine. So the first thing that uh, we're going to do is we need to prepare our machine. So um, you always want to make sure that your machine is, uh, cur you know, current and up to date. And uh, you do that with sudo apt get update, and then enter in your password to you know allow the machine root capabilities. Then after you do the sudo apt get update, you want to do sudo apt get upgrade. So that will upgrade all of the packages to make sure you have the latest packages. What the first command does is it just queries the repositories and updates its list of available packages. So once you update the list of available packages, 
you know, then you run the upgrade command and look at my machine. It's got a million updates since I haven't opened this VM in a long time. So you're going to want to make sure that your machine is all up to date. Obviously, I'm not going to make you wait through this whole thing here. So, you know, we'll, this will be sped through fast um, to get onto the, the regular procedure. All right, so we're back and I'm all updated. Now, if I run a new na uh, uname-r, it says uh, I'm still running the same kernel, but uh, it did it uh, did a ton of upgrades. It took uh, like 15 minutes to upgrade all those packages because I haven't run this VM in a long time. So let's get right into the process. Um, what you're going to want to do is I will have the links down in the description for. Uh, you know all of the commands to run them quickly but uh, the first step is we need to install git so that uh, we can use git to compile our software so this first command is going to be sudo apt get install git ca-certificates cmake g++ gcc-multilib g++-multilib so those are all packages uh, well git obviously is used to you know use github and the rest of the packages are used for compiling software they're like the the, the compilers the tools that will be used to compile each of the uh, the packages put files you know where they're supposed to go and um, do all that kind of magic in the background. So after we run that command to install, um, you know, Git and the other tools that are required for compiling software, we are going to now uh, clone the GitHub source files for vogl perf, and that command is done um, by typing in git clone and you want to copy the uh, the git clone URL or the, the, the git URL for VOGL perf that again will be down in the description so I'm just gonna do uh, git clone paste in that link and it will clone the VOGL perf uh, source files into a directory that it just created on its own so now we'll CD into the directory C D O G L tab, it'll autocomplete, hit enter. And now we're in the V O G L perf folder that it just created by cloning uh, git. So there you can see all the files. And um, before we run the make command, we want to make sure that we have these other dependencies installed. So these other dependencies, in order to get this to work, um, you know, again, this line will be down below in the description, but it's sudo apt get install mesa dash common dash dev lib edit dash dev lib t info dash dev and lib t info dash dev colon i386. Hopefully, this installs without a hitch. So again, I'm doing this all live in front of you guys, recording it. Um, you know, hopefully we don't run into any problems. But I thought it would be beneficial to do it live with you, so that if I do run into a problem, you know, you guys will be able to witness the problem and witness me solving it right as it occurs. So now we're all ready to, according to the make, you know, the instructions for compiling this from source. The next command that we want to run is make because we've already cd'd into the vogl per folder so now we just type in make and hit enter so it's it's checking everything and making sure that um, so we do have one error it says here cmake error at cmake lists dot text colon 40 and the message is find package failed to locate x 86 underscore 64 dash Linux dash GNU live GL dot SO. 
So you can see here that the make command did not successfully run. It says configuring incomplete, errors occurred. And you can see, you know, the make logs if you really wanted to. Your C make output dot log is there. And then your home or your also your C make error dot log is there. You could read those files to, you know, dig deeper into what the error was, but to me it's standing you know, right out in front of me of why the, what the problem is. It's failing to find the libgl.so file for um, x86.64, linux-gnu, which is weird because I thought I had libgl.so installed. Um, so what we're going to do is try to locate that package. Um, so there's multiple ways of looking for packages in Ubuntu. Uh, one way is to use aptitude from the command line. Let's see if I have it installed. sudo aptitude search libgl. Apti command aptitude not found. So since that's not installed, I'll use what you guys would most likely be using would be the Ubuntu Software Center. So I just type in software and there is the Ubuntu Software Center. And I'm guessing I don't have LiveGL installed because you know I've never installed Steam in this VM, I haven't installed any games, so I'm almost wondering if this is even going to work. And doing a search, I'm not finding LiveGL. That's not a good sign. Let's take a look at our error again. Sometimes the, you know, the solution to the problem has already been found out by others, so I can just uh, Google that problem and see if other people. Ah, these two packages here. Hopefully these are it. No, that one's already the newest. What about this other one? Yep, hopefully that's it. So it was this other package here, hopefully, ends up solving it, libgl1-mesa-dev. So now that that's installed, now we'll run our make again. And hopefully it builds correctly this time. Yep. See, so this, notice the difference from the last time we ran make and this time that we ran make. Notice how it says 100% and it made all of the, um, it, it didn't error. You don't see anything in here that says error exiting or quit, you know, it's, it's working. So now that the make ran and, you know, that ran correctly, the next command that we run is, uh, it's in the readme file, but basically it's, actually it's not in the readme file, I need to clarify that. They just have to build make, but they don't tell you to, do, to run sudo make install. So the next command is to install the package. Now you do sudo make install. And no rule to make target install stop. Oh, you know what? There should be... Actually... I'm wrong. I take that back. I'm sorry. You don't have to, I guess you don't have to run sudo make install. So you guys, like I said, you know, this was a learning experience for me again. This is the second time I'm installing it, but uh, it's, it's according to my system here, you know, in the VM, it's running. So right now there's a web server running at this address. So, um, it is dot twenty one. So if I type in one nine two 
168.0.21.8081, it'll show me there is VOGL perf. So it's running. So now I'm going to boot, or we'll take the recording onto my normal computer, and I'll show you guys VOGL perf in action. All right, so now that we have VOGL perf installed, you want to make sure that you, um, you don't have to, but let's CD into the bin directory uh, within the VOGL perf folder. So CD VOGL perf. Um, disregard mine that has the dash 0.1 on it. Um, that does the folder name is irrelevant. Yours, your folder, if you followed my earlier instructions, will be VOGL perf. And then you just hit tab, it'll auto complete. And then type in bin, that'll auto complete. And hit enter. So now we're in that folder. And within this folder should be the command we want to run. Again, we're on a 64 bit OS. So we want to run the VOGL perf. Uh, 64. Notice how there's a 32-bit version and there's a 64-bit version. It it made it compiled and made both uh, for both operating systems. Um, but important part before you start VOGL perf 64, you want to make sure that you have Steam open in the background. So you can see here I have Steam open, and um, now we're going to run you know run VOGL perf uh, 64. Hit enter. And there we go. So you know that it's working because it'll say starting web server and it'll show you the IP address that it started the web server on and the port, which is 8081. So now you can just, you might be able to just click on this and it'll open up in your web browser. I'm just going to type it in up here in a fresh, uh, in a fresh Firefox window. That six, 8081. And there we go. We have VOGL perf. We are connected to it. So the two commands that you need to run before you uh, launch a game is the first one is FPS show on. So FPS show space on. It comes back and it tells you that FPS show is on now. And the other one that I like enabling is FPS spew on. And what that'll do is it'll spew the frames per second minimum and maximum time and everything within this window here in VOGL perf in your browser window. It'll spew every second the frame information. And that way it just gives you some data you can look at, you know, so that you're not always looking at the top of your screen to see your frames per second. You'll be able to see it right in the window. So that's view or uh, FPS spew space on. Now that's on. And now we're ready to get going. We're ready to start a game. So the command is simply game space start and the game ID. Now the game IDs are, um, they're right on the, they have a link on that uh, VOGL perf uh, GitHub location. If you scroll down, I'll put this link in the description as well. They have all the game IDs, a link right here. I just click on that link. It takes me to a web page. There's 611 games. 433 of them are confirmed to be working. So I'm just going to hit Control F and we'll find The Witcher 2. So there it is. The game ID is 20920. So we just go back to VOGL Perf. Type, you know, the game space start space 20920. That's what I said, right? 20920. Yep. So here we go. We hit send. It'll bring up a command that says allow game launch. Allow The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition to launch with optional command line. You know, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm going to allow it. Just ignore my CD key there. And here's the launcher window, and uh, you just, you know, if you had already set up all your options and everything for your, you know, your resolution and whatnot, then you're just, you're ready to go. You just hit launch game. <coughs> Excuse me. And, you know, if it's working, it should launch the game. Cross my fingers here. And there we go. We are in The Witcher 2. So right up there at the top left, you can see 
that it's running 59.96 frames per second. Uh, I'm guessing the intro is locked at 60 frames a second. So we'll just get through here. We'll get into the game and see how many frames a second I'm getting. So I'll just go into one of my saved games here and we'll just kind of quickly see, just to run a little, te a little test real quick, see what resolution, uh, what frames per second I'm getting. So right there it says the upper left. Now you got to remember, it's going to look crappy because I'm recording with simple screen recorder and trying to play the game at the same time. So, you know, you can see there 34 frames per second, 35, 34, 42. Let's climb up here and fight some people and see how many frames per second I get. You know, it doesn't, it looks pretty bad. It looks, um, you know, like there's some, what? Jeez. Um, down to 28. Oh, I'm just getting wrecked here. Yeah, it definitely, uh, Simple Screen Recorder is definitely making this thing take a hit uh, as far as the performance of the game. I'm down at 21, 29 frames a second, 30 frames a second. What was that? Oh, I just got wrecked. What? That didn't wreck that guy? 29 frames a second. So you get the idea. So that's basically it. VOGL perf in action. You can see in the upper left corner it shows you your frames per second you're getting, the, the amount of frames, and the time in milliseconds, minimum and maximum. I guess, I'm not sure what the min and max, oh, min, yeah, milliseconds. But, um, so that's it. So that's how you get VOGL perf on your system. And here you can see that for some reason the game crashes every time you exit it in Linux. Just ignore that crash. But um, see, so you can see here in the Firefox window or your browser window, you have a record now of all what you were getting for frames per second. You know, um, so you can kind of look back and see the performance you were getting and whatnot. So you can see when I was like in the middle of the battle, you know, I was low or high, low twenty, low twenties. I'm sorry, low thirties, high twenties. You know, during that fight scene, when I think I was just standing still, walking around, I was in the low forties, high thirties. So that's about it. That's V O G L perf. Um, I'm glad. I'm actually kind of happy I went through it together with you guys in the virtual machine and we ran into that error because it most likely will happen to you too and right away you know you won't have to do all the searching around that I did you know it took me about 15 minutes to find the solution to the issue which I cut out of the video but um, that's about all I got for today guys leave me a rating let me know what you thought of the video subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more technology type videos like this again this is my Tech Tuesdays for for last Tuesday, I apologize for not getting it uh, completed earlier and uploaded, but um, I got it to you nonetheless. And that's about all I got for tonight. So until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.